not settle for a 50-50 man. I swear to you, you will pay for it for the rest of your life if you do. First of all, let me just say how wonderful it is to date a man with a provider mindset. My man makes me feel so taken care of, safe, and protected like he would never let anything ever happen to me. He knows that I can cover my own tab and pay for my own things, but he wants to, without expecting anything in return. For my man, who I'd consider high value, my sincere gratitude and warm smile is all that he needs. He has told me that my happiness is the most important thing to him and that seeing me happy makes him happy. I don't think that saying happy wife equals happy life came out of thin air. When women are able to show up as relaxed, satisfied, and happy, this feeds back to everyone around them. And so we only have one life to live, girl, so live it to the fullest. I know it sucks, but comb through all of the scrubs while dating, then end up with a nasty divorce. The divorce rate in the US is 50%. And the top three reasons are money, sex, and children. I don't want that for myself, and I don't want that for you. We do not care. Talk about the things that me as a Hispanic woman consider the bare minimum, but my American friends think I'm never going to get because Americans don't do that. I don't care. Door opening. You want me to get into your car? You're going to open that door. It's not a possibility. It's a requirement. By the way, I refuse to buy the Stanley Cup. It needed to be said. I'm not paying for the date. First, second, third date, I'm not paying for the date. You invited me out, you wanted me to show up, I'm not paying for 50. You planned the date, but it's more than 30 minutes away, I'm not driving. You are either picking me up, and if I don't feel comfortable with you picking me up, you're sending me a car. I'm not gonna beg for your attention. If you don't wanna text me and respond back quickly, you're gonna be out in the graveyard. You need to speak my love language, and if you don't, I don't know how this is gonna work out. My love language is presents and quality time. Oh yes, I do f expect flowers and presents being sent to me on a weekly basis. Also, you can be ashamed of showing me affection. I need you obsessed with me. A very hard pill to swallow is once you get in a relationship, no one cares. Nobody wants to hear the cute thing he texted you. Nobody cares about the nice things she's doing for you. Like, a lot of the exciting stuff, you're literally just going to have to, like, write in your diary because no one cares. I'm the biggest oversure, and I just want to tell all my friends every single time something, like, minorly exciting happens. But that can be really freaking annoying. Sometimes the best thing you can do for your relationship and your friendship with others is move in silence. Don't forget to subscribe. You know how apparently guys don't settle down with, like, the woman that they love, but rather the woman that is on their lap at the right time when they choose to settle down? they say. Well, if you want to know when that will be, you have to look at their favorite ex. So the ex that they loved, that like they really thought was like the one that they got away, like the one that actually broke their heart. Is that favorite ex married? Are they about to get married? Because the second that they get married, give it about like two months, that's when he's going to choose to settle down and be like, oh my god, like I found the love of my life. No, he didn't. He realized that the favorite ex is out of the market forever, or at least, you know, hopefully. Um, And he's like, it's time. It's time to go. Because if if favorite ex did it, now I have to do it. Tell me if I'm wrong. But tell me if I'm right. He ain't lying.